Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today talking about um, something I discovered yesterday when I was out shooting a video and that's that the Etymotic in-ear monitors, I've been buying them for years. I really love them. They do not sound very good. They're extremely uncomfortable. So it's not sounding here like a great sales pitch for them as headphones, but their actual job is to be really, really good at one thing and that's monitoring audio. And I find yesterday was the first time that I actually brought them out uh, to monitor camcorder audio and I found they were brilliant. So what is an IEM, an in-ear monitor, and how does it differ from uh, you know a pair of headphones? Because at first glance, these are the Etymotic MK2s, very, very much at the bottom of Etymotic series. This is, I don't even know what these are. It's like a random pair of uh, Sony earbuds, uh, you know, nothing special at all. And kind of just holding them side to side, they look really similar, like, well, these have kind of got these funky looking uh, flanges at the end, but they both look like headphones, earbud headphones, right? So in-ear monitors, the, the clue as to what they do well is in the name, and that's that they, um, they help you to monitor an audio source. So they're used a lot by musicians. So if you're a musician on a stage, um, there's a lot of sound around you. There's both the sound of the band, there's the sound of the crowd, and you want to hear, um, you want to hear the music track. Now, I don't work in the, in, I've never uh, been a musician, so this is just my understanding. Or you're, you know, you're working in a TV and you want to hear your producer in your ear. So for that kind of a use case, you don't want, you don't need great audio quality, right? What you actually need is a uh, headphone that's exceptionally good at passively isolating outside noise and letting in the audio you want to hear. And that's where the Etymotics are kind of in a class of their own. To the best of my knowledge, the MK5s and the MC5s both offer 33 decibels of passive noise isolation. Uh, passive noise isolation is not the same as active noise, calcul active noise calculation, uh, cancellation, ANC, which is like your bows uh, that, you know, are do a terrific job at blocking out steady frequencies like an airplane engine, but they don't do such a good job when you're in a noise environment that the frequencies are constantly oscillating, like you're shooting video and there's people, there's dialogue and there's other stuff going on. So for that, and this is why I love them, passive noise isolation is actually better. And there's, to, to the best of my knowledge, nobody offers higher decibel passive noise isolation than Edimotic. Um, so these are great for the job. Now the kind of more typical choice, as far as I understand it, would be something like this. These are what I use when I'm editing uh, audio on my computer. These are the Audio Technica uh, MHTX20. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got that product name slightly wrong. I'll put the correct one in the description. So the advantage, I mean, these are terrific. I love these. I think they sound great. And they are supposed to be reference slash studio headphones. So they uh, reproduce the sound with accuracy. They're not actually intended to sound the best possible. They're intended to give you an accurate representation of the noise you're editing. However, they're kind of bulky and when it comes to putting stuff in an editing bag or a camera bag as I get more into video, there's definitely a lot to be said for carrying around stuff that is small. So these Edimotics, um MK5 are the bottom of the range. There's also the MC5 and there's a lot of higher end products in the Edimotic range, but these guys are super small. But the difference between a regular pair of earbuds, which I've used for monitoring, and the Edimotics is night and day. These do not do a great job at passive noise isolation. So when you put them in uh, to, the, to the monitoring port on your camera or camcorder, which on my Canon Vixia HFR800, uh, the mic inputs here on the right and the monitoring so that's a 3.5 mil out is just to the left of it. Um, so that, this is how it works. You have your microphone connected and then you plug the 3.5 or 8 jack into AV out and then you listen. So as you're recording from a microphone and trying to hear, you can hear in real time what your camcorder sounds like, um, what your microphone sounds like. Using these, there is, it's very distracting. There's, you hear a lot of sound around you and it's very hard to uh, zone in on the microphone you're trying to listen to. When I used these things yesterday, the Edimotic MK5s, they isolated the noise just as well as they always do, which is amazingly, and I really appreciated them because for this purpose of monitoring camcorder audio, they actually did a superb job. They're really small, they're really light, they come in their own pouch. This is not a sales pitch, I'm just passing on. I've been buying and a big fan of Edimotics for quite a long time, so I'm really happy to have discovered that they actually 
coincidentally, now that I'm uh, getting into video, do a really, really good job for audio monitoring. So if you're looking for headphones for audio monitoring and you don't want to go with the kind of typical over ear style, um, I would recommend personally going for a pair of IEMs like Edimotic over uh, just regular headphones. I find that they really, really did a much better job for monitoring microphone audio on my camcorder. Hope this video was interesting. Thank you guys for watching.